Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Walsam, Loss of Wayhem, the active skill tree revamp, the latest news from the developers. Remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned. Welcome to my channel and in this video we're going to take a look at Vols and the beta gameplay active skill tree revamp from the developers directly so let's take a peek at this uh, video and see what they have in store for the Volson players. Hello everyone and welcome to this new video on Volson Lords of Mayhem. I am your community manager Jessica and today I will present the active skill tree revamp planned for the beta. First, let's come back to our previous active skill tree. Current players are already familiar with the active skill system. Yes. You can learn skills through Anorax or Tomes if you played on the Alpha Anorax. that you can loot or change the name. to the Archivist. As your character progresses, your skills set in your skill bar gain in experience. Nice. You can also make your skill level up faster by selling Anorax to the Archivist and gather Primordial Affinity. That's kind of the same system. You can then use this alternate currency to purchase skill levels. Each five levels of skill, you're able to select between two options, left or right. It's a good system, but we want to give more choice to players. We want you to customize your gameplay. We want to open the door to even more options. Cool. That's what led us to this change, and today we're proud to introduce you the new active skill tree. Let's have a look at the new interface. Okay. This section shows you the skills that you learn and their names. For the moment, it's sorted in an alphabetical order. Later, we will add a filter just here that will allow you to search for your favorite skills more easily. There you have the new skill bar, now only containing 5 skills in total. We removed 2 skills to improve gameplay fluidity in game. Oh, that's, it also that's means nice. that your skill choice will be more meaningful. It was a bit hard to navigate in the old system. At the top this. there, you have your skill name, its level and associated experience, your modifier points, and the reset button to remove points attributed to your modifiers for this skill. Nice. So this panel will give you information points. about your skill selection That's as cool. well as details on your skill improvements. This section is not finalized yet. There will be more information later to give you a better overview on the impact of your modifier selection. So how do modifier points work? Skills still gain in experience with your character when they are in your skill bar and you can still improve them to the archivist. This okay. is how it will work for the beta. Each modifier has a specific skill level requirement before getting unlocked. When your skill reaches level 5, you unlock your first active skill tree modifier. Yeah, so also you still at level need five, 5 levels. At each 10 skill levels from five them, levels. you will also gain modifier points that will allow you to activate more modifiers for this specific skill. In the beta, you will be able to reach level 20, which will allow you to choose two on four modifiers available. We're going to have a look on Phantom Blade's possibilities. Phantom Blade throws a spinning jewel blade in a front line. It is usable with daggers, bows and pistols. It's pretty powerful. Before the active skill tree revamp, you could only choose between increased area of effect or allow your dual blade to circle on your target location. Yeah. Now you can have both, and as you level up and increase your skill points, you will also be able to reduce the skill's cooldown and increase its damage as well, along with other options. Nice. With a unique item like Shegad's Obsession, which allows you to have two more projectiles, or with the passive skill tree nod, allowing you to have one more projectile, Phantom Blade can become a devastating skill. Bleeding Edge That's is cool. a new beta skill that requires a melee weapon. It allows you to throw a spinning axe that deals damage with a chance to make your enemies bleed. 
The modifiers for this skill can increase your projectile speed, the area of effect, the bleed chance, That's how I'm gonna upgrade the, the, the hell out of the fireball. <laughs> you can now choose freely which modifier you wish to play and which combination goes well with your build. Finally, consuming embers is a skill allowing you to launch a fireball in a straight line in front of you. When it explodes, it deals fire damage in an area of effect. This skill can only be used with a staff or a catalyst. Your modifiers will allow you to increase its area of effect, oh. convert its damage to lightning, increase the number of projectiles, or change the nature of your fireball skill, leading it to no longer explode, lose speed, but gain an increased area of effect and pierce mm. targets, burning them on the way. Like for any other skill, you will also be able to choose the combination you wish to play. You're not forced to choose between two options that could both interest you. And that is all for today, guys and gals. I hope you appreciated this glimpse on the new AST and these beta skills. We still have implementations to complete, test and polish before we can release it. In the meantime, don't hesitate to follow our progression on the new Trello roadmap linked in the description. It's updated each week to give you information about the progression of the team. Thank you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to share, thumb up if you liked, and see you very soon for another video on Wilson, Lords of Mayhem. That's pretty cool, guys. So I, what I just saw here, they are very, very nice. Uh, I think it's very nice, the changes that are coming uh, from Alpha to Beta. And also, I must say, they, they have changed a lot of the names on the skills, which I think is, is great. Um, and if you, if you take a look here on the Trello roadmap, uh, they are updating this map every week. So everyone that have purchased the game on Steam already can now follow uh, follow the progression they are making every week so I think that's very cool so um, keep it up balls and team and I must say thank you guys for watching and I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel and I will just see you right on the next video bye